Another huge Odeon was the one at Peckham, which replaced an old theatre. The columns fronting the central recess were removed over the years. This Mather Odeon has been entirely demolished. At Uxbridge, the Odeon unusually had offices stuck on the front. It was another Odeon designed by Keith P. Roberts, working for Andrew Mather. Due to its close proximity to Pinewood Studios, many of the daily rushes were screened here when preview theatres at Pinewood were overbooked. Its rather dowdy interior in these 1975 shots was much improved by redecoration when the area under the balcony became two mini cinemas in 1976. It has since closed for a replacement scheme incorporating new cinemas which has suffered seemingly endless delays. At Bristol, the striking corner exterior still remains, although the cinema entrance has been shifted to one side. The original entrance is now a shop. T. Cecil Howitt's vast auditorium has vanished, with three new cinemas being opened high up, and below, on two floors, the building has been redeveloped as retail premises for mother care and other stores. At the East Ham Odeon, Keith P. Roberts designed a frontage that greatly anticipates the 50s style. The cinema replaced a much older picture house and seated 2,212. The auditorium is well planned, but became dull as a result of another boring modernization scheme. What, one wonders, was so wrong with the auditorium, as seen here when it opened in July 1938?